aprendizajes, experiencias en este entorno. Muchos meses del año de pandemia o con estudiantes se apropiaron lo acabo con esmero ahí que he difusionado 27 y 28 del técnico de inglés a hacer el gran cierre de este círculo de presentaciones. Cabe señalar que muchos de estos estudiantes no poseen experiencia en un aula de clase. Para ello fue su primera vez y lo han realizado como cualquier docente con años de servicio. Estimados estudiantes, Ustedes han sobrepasado todas las expectativas que tuvimos en este proyecto. El día martes, en mis palabras de apertura, mencioné que usted, sí, la de ser educador. Hoy lo vuelvo a ratificar. Exhorta a todos a seguir por este sendero ya que la, ser educador es la piedra angular para toda sociedad. Seguidamente, tenemos palabras de la doctora Ulina Mack, directora de investigación y posgrado. Bueno, muy buenas tardes. Este es nuestro cuarto y último día de este inicio de un proyecto que inició eh, meses atrás. Mirando por un lado el compromiso que tiene la universidad con el objetivo 4 de los Objetivos del Desarrollo Sostenible 2000, que va 2015 al 2030. Y ante la pandemia, viendo que había una gran cantidad de estudiantes fuera del sistema educativo, no solamente a nivel nacional, sino a nivel mundial. Y señalando que este objetivo nos dice que hay que garantizar una educación inclusiva, equitativa y de calidad para promover oportunidades de aprendizaje durante toda la vida para todos. Y como dice el profesor Brito, eh, es la piedra angular de la sociedad porque todos necesitamos pasar en un momento dado por las aulas de clase, pero también como universidad tenemos que garantizar esa calidad del docente y esa práctica. Y yo quiero eh, en este momento, el último día, eh, reafirmar que la práctica de ustedes dentro de este proyecto, que tuvieron que trabajar sin el apoyo de un docente en el aula, donde solamente tuvieron la tutoría del docente, el programa del Ministerio de Educación y los conocimientos que recibieron a lo largo de su trayectoria en la universidad, es lo que les permite a cada uno Enfrentar los retos. El maestro siempre va a tener retos y hay que saberlos cumplir, hay que saberlos afrontar y hay que saber salir adelante con valentía y esmero. Y siento después de tres días de estar escuchando a sus compañeros que también hicieron la práctica haciendo uso de un conocimiento eh, de la tecnología, la virtualidad y acompañando a esos estudiantes que aún permanecían fuera de las aulas de clase y haber logrado los resultados es digno de aplaudir y saber que Isai Universidad en su formación docente está en el camino eh, indicado que nos lleva a esa buena formación de esa calidad de lo que nosotros necesitamos de ahora y hacia el futuro. Un educador comprometido, un educador con creatividad, un educador que pueda afrontar los retos, un educador que le demuestra cariño y amor a los niños que a veces les hace falta en su día a día y en la cotidianidad del docente tiene que tener esa responsabilidad de llevar ese amor al niño para que pueda aprender. Si utilizamos un poco la pedagogía de Paulo Freire, que nos dice 
que debemos de enseñar, educar con amor. Estoy consciente de que cada uno de ustedes realizó esa labor en el aula y que bueno, en el día de hoy seguiremos escuchando todas las bondades de la primera fase de este proyecto. Tenemos en un inicio, eh, habíamos pensado en cuatro estudios, pero también viendo eh, todos los conocimientos que han salido aquí, ya pensamos que tenemos tres estudios más y en el día de hoy veremos si se mantienen los siete o hay que aumentar a diez o hay que aumentar a doce. Pero sí sabemos que tenemos eh, mucho insumo de este proyecto para poder hacer investigación y darlo a conocer a la sociedad panameña el trabajo que en tiempos de COVID hicieron los primeros eh, estudiantes que, se, eh, que atendieron este llamado para hacer su práctica profesional en un proyecto de esta magnitud. Así que agradecemos a todos, a los profesores y bueno, a los integrantes del, del grupo de investigación que el trabajo inició, el trabajo continúa, pero también nosotros sabremos sacarlo adelante. Así que eh, muchas gracias y esperamos escuchar a los 14 estudiantes que hoy tienen a bien presentarnos. En el día de ayer, cuando yo hice la sumatoria, eh, nosotros teníamos en este programa más de 3.500 personas visitándonos y escuchando lo que cada uno de los estudiantes eh, plantearon en el día de ayer. Este era un proyecto con una población beneficiada en primera instancia de 66 eh, estudiantes, cuatro docentes. Y siento que hemos cumplido la meta de esta primera fase. Así que éxito a cada uno después de esto de que no sea solamente para una calificación, sino que realmente sea la parte de su vocación que van a llevar una vez que estén en las aulas de clase. Muchas gracias. Seguidamente tenemos al profesor Arjona para que inicie con la ronda. We have Professor Arjona who is going to begin with the series of presentation. First of all, good afternoon to you all. Welcome once again uh, for those viewers on YouTube. So you're also welcome to be here. Good afternoon, Xiomara Rocha, uh, Dean of Isa University, Magister Arturo Britton, head of the English department. Uh, Dr. Olina Mapp, uh, Professor and uh, Magister uh, Celis Osses, Head of the Education uh, Department, Mr. Uh, René Atencio Stanciola, welcome, and Professor Reynalda uh, de Rocha. And today, it's a great day to celebrate. We're very happy to be here for so many reasons. Not students should be left behind. That was the slogan you guys had and then you're risk takers. You took the risk and it has paid off. Today, you have the, the time to show that talent, the knowledge you transferred, and I'm pretty sure those kids really enjoyed having you as teachers. It is always great to have that, and I would like to start this off by quoting, there is more happiness in giving than there is in receiving. So you experience happiness when you are able to give without expecting anything in return. Isa University feels very proud to have you as such great students. Just for the reason that you guys made a space at home to have and create a virtual classroom. So Isa has more than 14 different branches in the entire country because you guys made a space for that. And I'm very uh, happy and glad for, and I feel really proud for that. So without any further ado, let's get started. Um, one child, one teacher, one book, and one pen can change the world. Malala. 
please let's receive with a round while of virtual applauses to Mixi Callezales from Group 28. So please let's welcome her. Good afternoon, Dr. Xiomara Arrocha, Magister Jose Luis Arjona, Magister Arguito, Dr. Ulina Ma, and all the other authorities present here, and also to my clapping. Today I have the pleasure to present my life experience of my professional practice, the virtual English reinforcement. One child, one teacher, one book, one pay the word. Malala Yousafzai. As a teacher, the most important part of a young student's life, our love of learning can be infectious and inspiring to any student we teach. Also, we are the best guide for our students in the most aware of this kind of illumination to get students curious about discovering knowledge for themselves and focus in the, on their interest and skill and natural talent. And my professional practice, I was working with third grade students for three different private schools in San Miguelito for one month, four days a week and 80 minutes per day. Some of the virtual teaching research I use in during the month was Google Meet and YouTube. I chose Google Meet because it was easy to use for me, for the students, and um, also for the parents. And the only that you need a Gmail account is totally free and is compatible with any mobile device. As you know, YouTube have many resources that you can find on it. The, um, you can go into YouTube and you can follow many videos that you can share with your students to make your classes more, more interesting. And also you can follow uh, many tutorials, for example, how to use Google Meet on any platform. To plan my classes, I use the sign for for me, the science for uh, made the content material more comprehensible for the student results aligned to the objectives. The methodology. The methodology that I use during the, my professional classes You can see the teacher's instruction. The direct instruction is where the teacher uses teaching techniques to teach a specific skill to their student. In the case of virtual classes, the teacher is in front of the screen presenting the information or giving the instruction. Kinetics learning is the learning style which the learning takes place by the student carrying out physical activity. Also, the student can in classes and when they enjoy, also they learn. And the last one, the audiovisual, is a training or educational material that use the sense of sight or hearing and be filmed, recordings or photograph. In those days, we use and we have to use digital tools to improve the teaching learning process. The most common tool we use in the day is in the classroom or in the virtual classes, point is life, which made the class more interesting, dynamic, and effective, and also how to introduce new topic in an easy way. The use of audiovisual made the student to remember the concept for longer period of time and they convey the same meaning of word, but they give clear concepts and bring effectiveness in learning. 
we were in a project that turned with classes. We, our project was called My Album. I choose the first topic for the album, and they have to choose the fifth topic, the, the topic that they like the most. Um, my album have introduced that they have to draw themselves and also they have to write their own information and present in from the class. Part of the body that they have to name the part of the body. Healthy and unhealthy food. They have to classify the healthy food from healthy food and they have to tell why it's important to shoot a healthy food. Part of the plan, they have to draw a plan and assign the name and and the last activity the the, the creative workshop they have to choose the topic they choose part of the house and and aside the creative creativity workshop here you can see the introduction of themselves then the part of the body healthy and healthy food part plan and the creative workshop the is the house with paper. They make a house with paper and draw the part of the house and assign the name. The lesson content that I said during the month, the I choose from Meduca. The first week, family and community. The second week, people, feeling and body. The third week, we did health, nutrition and food ecology and recreation transportation. Programmer with the part of speech, senses, type of senses, or sentence, or unwish question. This week was based on an English skill. For example, the week was based on reading and grammar. The second week was based on speaking. And the third we were in a project. The first week was based on listening, and the last one is was based on writing the month that we see during the month. Here you can see the evidence of what has been applied to the students, like homework, our virtual classes, and also we have a short video. Okay, my personal analysis of life spirit. I really, really enjoyed this experience. It was a great experience. Um, maybe I would like to be in a classroom, but you know, the pandemic came to change the rules um, of the world. So we have to do it in this way, but really was a great experience for me. I remember one teacher during, during one of the class in his side told me that now you can think that this is your profession, but when you get into the professional practice is when you're gonna realize is you are in the right in the right place. And at the end of the, the professional practice, the last day when the student told me, Thank you, teacher, for your passion and um, for all this information. Um, I really feel that I'm in the right place. Here also, I don't know if you can hear, we have a video. Repeat. And I want it's time to say goodbye. Go turn.
How the plants the plants are vital to life on earth they provide food for people and animals. And I really so was so proud of my students. Okay, suggestion for the teacher. One of the more important suggestions that I can give to the new teacher, to the teacher is to get organized. It's very important to get organized with your time, with your digital file, with your project, and get your classroom in order. Another suggestion is le learn more about learning. As you know, we have many learning styles that we have to keep in mind. Remember, all the students learn in a different way. If you add this learning style to your planning, it's also going to be easiest for your students. Become a Google educator. In those times with the pandemic, obligate to use these tools. We have to go into, we can go into internet and we can follow many tools, many resources that we can apply into our virtual class. Use learning method and strategy based on principle of activity collaborative and interactive learning. For the student, it's very useful and very interesting that you add interactive learning methods. Okay, to conclude, remember teaching is by far one of the more novel and influential profession of the planet. Teachers help their students every day to become better. We are the heroes to many children, so if there are anyone who is in a position to bring positive change into the world every day is a teacher. Don't ever think that your effort as a teacher are insignificant and make no difference. There is no telling what positive effect you will have on someone's life, especially a student. So be brave, stay passionate about your kids and your work, and don't give up ever. Keep continuing to nurture the architect of the future. Now I have to give the time, thanks to the Professor Britton to be our guide and also to my family to support me in those time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mixi, for sharing with us your outstanding experience. We're very happy you, you went through that experience. But we still have more, so just stay tuned for the ones here on Zoom and also our viewers on YouTube. And this is a big fiesta. We're celebrating Isai. It's celebrating a lot today. So be the change that you wish to see in the world, Mahatma Gandhi. With this quote, let us receive Put your hands together for Sara Torres. Okay. Education is the key to the future. Good afternoon, Dr. Xiomara da Rocha, Maestro Jose Luis Arjona, Maestro Arturo Britton, and Dr. Ulina Matt, special guests, classmates, and audience. My name is Sara Torres, and for me, it's a pleasure to show you my professional practice presentation. I hope you like it. Before I start my presentation, I want to share with you a message that I, I had. Everybody knows that we are in difficult situations. COVID-19 is affecting many people around the world, but there is something that makes us special, and it's the willing to teach during difficult times. During this uh, presentation, I will be talking about the method, methodology, the contents that I uh, discussed with the students, the strategy that I use, and my experience during the practice. Uh, I had six students for a school called Centro Educativo Betel and one student for a public school called uh, Juan Pablo Villanueva. In total, I had seven students and all of them were in third grade. 
for the vir virtuality data resource that I use with the students, I decided to use Zoom, PowerPoint, YouTube videos, quizzes, and WhatsApp. Zoom was a very important tool for me, and I think it's very useful for the uh, online classes. We can we can use many tools, and the students like it because it's very interactive. Power, in PowerPoints, I developed all my slide with all the activities, with all the practice that I, I had for the students. On YouTube videos, I used a video for my work apps and also for practice vocabulary works and for a little story. On quizzes, I evaluated students if they were learning or not, and they really enjoyed this app. On WhatsApp, I created a group in order the parents can send me all the, the activities that I developed with the students during the English reinforcement. And uh, also, I sent to them the Zoom link to the parents, and some parents sent them it to their daughters, and that girls enter alone. Uh, yeah. As a in point, I'm going to talk about the methodology I apply with the students. I use DPR or total physical response, audio lingual method. I really love to use total physical response or response or TPR because that allow me to the students um, not to get bored during the classes. And I think it also was a way to motivate the students to pay attention to the class because of the, the hours we were in the class. And the audio lingual method was very useful too for teaching student grammar in, in a way that they could repeat with me uh, all the, the sentences before I taught them the grammar. You can see here some strategies that I use for the students. For example, the audio clicks or music, individual activity, and you can see here some picture, pictures of my slides, and also some picture, one picture of the Zoom class. And uh, when I was, um, when I was uh, on the Zoom class. Okay. Um, also, you can see here some of the practice that they develop alone. I ask them questions and they answer me. And also they practice some Zoom with me and they did it individually. Another activity that I developed with the student was the group activities and reading along and in pairs. They practice a conversation in group using breakout rooms and students really like it. Also, they guess, uh, for example, I put the pictures and I ask them, who is this person? And they told me, father, mother, <laughs> and they really like it. Um, integration of technology, I use gamification too. Uh, here is classes that, as I told before, it kept the student motivation and also the student are paying attention to the class because they want to, to cut the higher score in the, on the game. Here is an example of my week of planning. You can see here, I start always with a content objective and I was developing the, the word apps, also the questions and all the activities I want to, to develop with the students uh, during the during the classes. I taught four classes per week from Monday to Thursday. And here, uh, here is an example of the monthly plan. And you can see like all the, the objectives that I use for the students uh, during the, the whole weeks. The content I discussed with the students, the first one was family members. As you can see here, a picture of uh, one of the activities they did. Also, the power of the house, and I really love to use like some flashcard, and I put the vocabulary words um, on the PowerPoints. In order to see, know uh, what they were going to, to learn. And finally, body parts, and as in the last class, I just did like, a review of all the topics that I uh, talked to the students. Here, are you, you are going to see a short video of the distant project that I developed with the students. I know the parents didn't have, have money to buy things, so I told them that we, are going to, we were to use the things that they had at, at home. So I hope you, you like it. You can explore, actually. He is my grandfather. He is my father. She's 
my mother. She is my grandmother. Okay. She is my my grandfather. He is my uncle. Okay. You can explore our okay. game. Now you're going to see some evidence of the contents I applied to the students and so practice they develop. I hope you like it too. Hey teachers, hello Ashley, how are you? Fine, thank you. How are you today? Fine, thank you. No, I just know. Hello, hello, hello. What's your name? My name is Ale. My name is Aya. Nice to, nice to meet you. Okay, I really enjoyed that activities that the students developed. They did like a short music show and they really enjoyed it. And I feel very proud of them because they could be able to do all this activity and also learn vocabulary words. At the end, I, they learn at least 50 vocabulary words. In my personal analysis, I have to say that I really, really enjoy this practice. I will never forget it. I think I could put in practice all the knowledge that I learned and also the student, I, I could achieve the goal that I had for the students that uh, was they learn and also speak in English. And I tried to, to show you that part in the evidence. Uh, so in some cases, I had some troubles uh, with the students because they were not paying attention and they were in the living room. And I, in that case, I talked with the parents and the parents uh, did some changes and that way the student could learn um, and follow my classes. My suggestions are uh, to develop some interview to the parents before because it's important to know if the parents uh, have the materials they're going to use or what materials they have they have at home in order to use them. Also taking out the class a uh, time in order to develop the activities or the game we're going to do in the classes. Uh, for the future students that are going to develop the practice in the future, I advise them to take notes of our experience. And finally, to finish this uh, presentation, I want to tell you some uh, ideas that I can say as conclusion. For example, be patient, have empathy, good communication, and use online games. Empathy because sometimes when we are in the virtual classes, it's raining and sometimes the, the parents uh, could not enter to the classes because they, they don't have internet, so we need to have a good communication with, the, with them in that cases. Also use the online games to get mo student motivation to the student pay attention to the class, and they could they can learn English. I would like to conclude this uh, presentation without saying thank you to all the, the the teachers, my family that were supporting me all this time, and also for my sir Jose Arjona, my sir Britton, and also Dr. Olina for all the support that they gave me during this journey. And um, thank you for God for this opportunity, and I really really appreciate it. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much, Sara, for showing us what education is all about. Great presentation. We still have more, so we're very happy to have more here. So the principal goal of education in the schools should be creating men and women who are capable of doing new things, not simply repeating what other generations have done. Jean Piaget. So let us welcome Cecilia Swartz with her presentation for this afternoon. So put your hands together for her. Hi, good afternoon. How are you all doing today? Hello, are you hearing me? Yeah, loud and clear. All right. 
So I said, how are you all doing today? We're doing good. Very good. I want to thank you all for being here. And thank you, Dr. Arrocha, Mr. Britton, Mr. Arjona, and Dr. Matt. I am go ahead and going to move forward with my presentation. But first of all, I would like to introduce myself. I am Cecilia Schwarzer. I am a Caroline professor at UE University, and I have about 10 years experience teaching in high school. Uh, today, I will be presenting my professional practice, which was based on teaching a grade level students all the way from recruiting students to completing a rich enforcement English class. Bear with me. This is the list of the program that I'm gonna be uh, talking about. Here's the introduction. The general purpose of this practice has been uh, one of the objective as a structural element of teaching learning method. This practice has been carried out as much. I have been taught a love subject and I'm very passionate about it. Uh, the virtual teaching uh, resource that I use was um, I present all my classes using um, PowerPoint, Google Meet for my presentations. In addition to this also, uh, I use applications like YouTube uh, for my video sharing and WhatsApp for a better communication. Images. These are examples of some of the many images uh, that I use throughout our class uh, presentations. It's another one. Uh, I try to work around a lot of grammar during the classes. Um, like I said, during my classes, I always work around the four general English skills, uh, which are reading, writing, listening, and speaking. Uh, this is one of the job that I used to use uh, as an assignment that I send out so they can work at home. And also, we also do a lot of class activity during the class. Um, this uh, reflection, uh, after all the classes, I will always provide a reflection uh, to trigger the student mind with important values. Thank you to Mr. Arjona because he always taught us how to include in our classes uh, reflections. As a professor, as a teacher, we all have to think about it. If we did a really good job, is everybody is, is on top of it, or we have some study behind? Um, this is one of the topics that I did. Uh, all these images that you see here today uh, has been all the, the topic that we worked during the classes. Uh, this, one, uh, this topic was one of the classes that, that my students liked it a lot because besides learning English, uh, I play a lot of videos. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't put everything in because it was too much and that, uh, due to our limited time today, I tried to um, just work with the images. So they like it, they, they listen to the music, the videos, and they play around each other. And also I send that out assignments as well. Uh, this was uh, another topic that we used about ecology and Panamanian ecology. They love it. Uh, this, in each class that I thought, uh, I always look, um, use two objectives that Mr. Arjona always, always um, was telling us, please, please make sure in all your class include two objectives. For example, uh, objective of specific and learning. Uh, this is another teacher reflection here. This, um, uh, that, this image is about the end of our course. When we have a, a party together in class, we were, uh, work out different the day. We play, we, they perform, singing, reading, um, so much. 
Uh, here's one of the example of the video, but I just took it, uh, I just put the image here. Like I said, I was trying to work all the time around uh, grammar skills and uh, for uh, uh, English uh, reading, writing, and speaking, because yes, you know, some students have different way to learn. Some students learn by doing it, but some students learn by listening, by hearing, by practicing. And I used to motivate my classes each day with uh, uh, videos, uh, have them to, to participate in the class. I used to uh, start with um, warm up video or singing or something and force them to use, um, come up with ideas or examples to make, to include them, to bring them on board. This is another video that I, is a musical video that I use from YouTube about healthy food. This is another video that I use, a musical, which it was about, uh, it's a rap, but they love it because, uh, of course, I listened to it before, and um, it was about uh, rap singing, what food you should eat, and they were kind of excited, they get it. The idea was to make sure that they understand, uh, they understand the topic of the class. Uh, this is a warm up. Like uh, each class, I always try to uh, start my class in a different way to make my class dynamic and do a lot of use a lot of motivation to them. Uh, according to my uh, virtual lab, I use a lot of vir uh, virtual labs to work in their free time. For example, I was able to um, monitor them remotely. For example, I sent a lot of research and links. So the parents can help them out because as you know, in one week, I mean, for two hours, is, you can cover everything, you know? And as, as I said, sometimes uh, there are some students that need a little bit of work. So you can, uh, with this student, I set a sign and I sent uh, some work to do at home. And I talked to the parents and it didn't bother me a lot at all, at all to uh, review them at nighttime after the class was over. Uh, the strategy that I use, uh, like I said, I love motivation. I like my class to be dynamic with a lot of technology. I use a lot of video clips. I use music, uh, graphic organizers. Uh, I speak a lot and, and just to make them like they are in class uh, having fun, but at the same time they are learning. Uh, this is the material, my syllabus or content. Uh, uh, my monthly planning lessons. And here is the material content used. This is my weekly planning. I use Saya, thanks to Mr. Arjona, because he brought us some new technique format, which I love it because it's easy, got everything in it, and it was easy for us to develop our daily classes. And here, this is my daily planning, which I use to work with my PowerPoint for my uh, virtual daily classes. Uh, one of them is, this is one of my evidence, the attendance list. That's how I did it for the day one to the end of the course. Uh, this is one of the evidence the students are performing in order presentation about the topic of the difference in between public and private school. Uh, this is another one about a, a topic, uh, places to visit in Panama. So this one of my students, I assigned this homework and sometimes they, uh, they had to perform what they did at home to make sure that they did the job, not their parents. And here's another class activity about this, uh, my ideal school. I had them write it down and draw down what school they consider it the ideal school. So they were excited about this. They started writing, I got a, I went to school with cafeteria, with all Earth's classroom, with air conditioners, so and so and so. So they were having a blast. Uh, here's another one, the same topic. And this was uh, a class activity about difference is similar about the same topic, but that day I make them write the chart uh, during the class. So they did a pretty good job. I feel proud of them. 
in here I was using um, class activity about the advert adverse of frequency. So we playing around. I play a quiz, and they were uh, happy and they I, they get it. So that was my my idea to teach them and make sure that they they understand what those uh, uh, topic that we're able to use for. This is one class activity that I will never forget because it was about type of now was a very beautiful song. After I explained in my class, they were uh, writing sentences and underlining the, the nouns and type of nouns. And also I made them write down and, and compete about themselves like a game. So I play Kahoot. Uh, that's one of the um, uh, uh, technologies. Uh, tools that are they they like it because all they wanted to do was just play because they were learning and this was one of the topic that I uh, thought then about the family tree and I had them write down and draw and paint it to uh, the their family tree uh, this girl surprised me a lot and I really really uh, like it because uh, as can you see, that's their very humble family. You see their, their background, uh, that's their house. See how they're very poor. But the girl was at the beginning, she was really, really shy and she don't want to participate. And, and eventually at mid, from mid turn to, to the end, she got into it and she started. And one day I told her, I told you can write everything about this topic. I, I assign a topic. And she surprised me because she wrote a poem herself and she presented in the class. And that was so beautiful. She wrote it home and she brought it to work, I mean, to the class next day. It's making me really, really happy. And about my personal analysis of my experience uh, teaching was like, you have to pay attention to each student and don't treat them as a simple numbers. For example, I had to look at them, interact with them, um, be um, observing them, and get your own reflection about each of them, and to see how can you make those kids to get better. Because it's, all the kids want to learn, believe me, they all want to learn. But sometimes they need a good teacher to guide them. My suggestion, uh, is to standardize all levels of student learning based on grade level. For example, Meduca. Meduca had to review, I suggest myself, that they should review carefully the plan because nobody can walk without crawling before. So what I found, because I have a variety of students, uh, different schools, uh, I find out that uh, some students, they are very behind compared with others. So how can you have uh, a public school go a, a planning ahead when they don't even are ready? They don't even know the base uh, part of speech and the language. So I, I suggest that um, for based on what I saw, that Meduca should review carefully those uh, uh, study plans. And my conclusion, um, this professional practice has been a new experience for me, even the talk, uh, I am a current teacher. Uh, we always learn a new thing. I never had um, a student from different school, and I never had a student from um, private school at the same time with public school. That's a really clash. It was a clash for me. So my conclusion is, what I had to do, I did, I went back to myself and I thought, I said, you know what? You need to try to bring everybody on board because they all discern the same knowledge. So I tried to work separately over the time with some students that were behind to bring all equally at the end. Thank you very much. And I want to say thank you very much, especially to the, uh, uh, Professor Arjona, because he was such a good coordinator to us. He was on top of us every time. He was in our class. He was watching my class, uh, giving feedback, 
always, um, when he said we're going to have a meeting with us, he was just right there at the time. He's, he's, he's Professor Arjona, thank you very much for all your help. Thank you, Mr. Britton, and thank you, uh, Dr. Orlina Mapp, and thank you all. Thank you so much, Cecilia, for sharing this outstanding experience with us. Definitely, I hope they can take these suggestions for granted, and thank you for sharing those. I never lose, I either win or learn. Nelson Mandela, with these words, let us receive Mr. Christian Quintero with his outstanding experience today. Okay. Eh, ¿Me escuchan? Yes, go ahead. Okay. Education is the most powerful weapon you can use to change the world. Nelson Mandela. Good afternoon, Dr. Xiomara da Rocha, Magister Jose Luis Arjona, Magister Arturo Britton, coordinator of the English course, Dr. Ulina Matt, a special guest. A cordial greeting to all. My name is Christian Quintero, and it is my pleasure to give a short presentation on our distant professional practice. Okay, in this portfolio, we will present some of the topic that we developed during the course of the professional practice, social teaching planning and a school calendar in time of college support material, um, social slide, videos and other. Virtual resource used with the student a strategy and methodology content treated with the student evidence of what was applied with the student personal analysis of the life experience suggestion and conclusion each of this topic with their respective importance uh, which were very learning because we were able to perform innovate function that allow use to advance as future teacher okay on march 9 a pandemic arrived in panama that could change our life COVID 19 closed a school and institute and has Readapted classes to the online format. And despite the effort of education professionals and the speed with which the center have tried to adapt to the situation, the truth is that not all students can follow them in the same way. The professional practice of teacher is a dynamic, reflective activity that include the event that occurred in the interaction between teacher and student. It included the, pedago the pedagogical intervention that occurred before and after the interactive process in the classroom. The teaching practice imply that the teacher must not only have prior knowledge of the topic, but also now, the methodology and strategies to transmit the wisdom that they have accumulated during their year of learning, but in the career and in parallel. Outside of it, well focused teaching practice can awaken in the students something of important and positive and the need to learn and the desire to seek new 
challenge within their study. A study, sorry. Okay. To carry out the virtual classes, I relate on didactic materials such as, as interactive YouTube video, which I use a warm up and introduction of topic to the class, illustrate, illustrate image and a story and flashcard that I was looking for on the internet to have a more interactive class. All this embodied in PowerPoint presentation, adding sound or music that could be the audiovisual part. Also, I use the interactive game like Magic Box and Simon Say. Okay, to develop a auditory language. From the beginning, I had started to work within the Google Meet platform as a mean of synchronous classes but it was not going well since I had some restriction regarding sound. Then I switched to the sound platform. I bought buying the license. It's much more than a platform to see our face. In this, we learn to use uh, the tool they gave you, uh, such as annotation, to complete the workshop and training test that we can do. Okay, I use MIT methodology as direct method and gamification. When the student was spoken to the in the question and was words pattern, uh, we also included concept vocab vocabulary and other visual material regarding gamification. Audiovisual strategy were also explaining where we're talking about object, concept, and situation. I apply the direct discussion that is also within gamification. It consists of discussing a topic under the direction of the educator. After discussion, the majority conclusion were accepted through collaborate intellectual work. Uh, this allow reflection and listening in addition to its posting point uh, of a view uh, which require the teacher to have good command of the group and subject. Okay, next, we can see my monthly planning, okay? This is my monthly planning and another planning is my weekly planning, uh, which as you will notice in a little more detail, but in my case, I work at it, it daily planning. Okay, since it was easier for me. Uh, we can see, for example, uh, information, general information, content objectives, uh, lesson deliveries, and the most important is the bit question. Okay, the bit question is important for the student. Okay, content discussion with the student. I use the assigned topic from the Meduca curriculum for the first grade. Talk about topics like the greeting, the family, body part, and the animal. All this work at on the basis of comments so that this child could capture in the information faster. As in is the case in the first grade, who had children uh, who could not read, in, not read, not write, okay? I also had to keep in mind that it was only a reinforcement for the student as we were not allowed to work on new material. Therefore, uh, this material was suitable for kindergarten students.
evidence, second topic, three evidence, three topic body part, and four evidence the animal. Okay, a short video. I play a short video about about my it's funny and wonderful. Open and shut, open and shut the clams in the ocean go. This is other video about my work in class with my students. Ah. Practice number two. Okay. 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 This is my project to distance. This is project is very important for me because I work with children who didn't know, know the alphabet in their mother tongue and the teaching uh, them part or of the alphabet in English is an achievement because is it is already an introduction to the second language and the from now on they will not have problem word or type of pronunci pronunciation sorry she is kaylee and my empirical student very advanced in the english subject she is only six years old hey. 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 I. I. L. O. Y. Y. Okay. Analyze of my teaching practice. My first teaching practice, I consider that the preparation process was educated at the quay scene and all time was given and the necessary revision to the plans were made. Preparation is essential. From the, from the point of the view that teacher must master the content, giving them the necessary adjustment for their student. In the itself, thanks to the preparation of the topic at period by Meduca, and the observation of the characteristic of the student carry out at the beginning of the practice, it was possible to carry out an adequate teaching learning process. The plans were adapted to the virtual world modality practice, but, but the plans and to the program corresponding to the first grade of primary school were correctly followed. However, some new strategies um, were implemented since the teacher contextualism, personality change the language and include particular example to make the academic content accessible to children uh, this a part of the didactic process at first the new virtual modality was a challenge not only for use practitioner but also for thousands of teachers in the country and the world overhead by the pandemic Okay, in the principle, it's a what bit difficult me in terms um, of the platform I use, but over time the research was able to the adapt perfectly to the file of practice. On the other hand, the new modality also overhand student and parents signs despite the fact the teaching was free. Many dropped because they did not have the necessary tool for proper learning. After all the problems, my student and I managed to adapt to the new method and continue to advance despite setbacks such as internet, signal, and device. 
Okay, finally, despite the limit practice, time the role of teacher was fulfilled and the experience of student teacher interaction was had as teacher i had to find a way to organize to class to work in the productive order okay this is important and as soon as i started to do it uh, discover that i have not had this either okay the good teacher is supposed to know how to organize the class, but, but on a few occasions, the future teacher has been to where the key is for the group to function with how complete. Okay, a general recommendation, a, some general recommendation that the class is very interactive so as not to give rise to bad behavior in the children try as much as possible to interact with each one separately active active class with one type of game can lead to more meaningful learning okay also recommendation of technology of technological aspect Okay, regarding the platform, if you can pay for the product license, it could be a great help for the teacher. Always turn off my student so that the teacher get a, given the class and there are no interruption or distraction. Okay, practice before implementing new audiovisual learning strategies. In conclusion, teaching practice, therefore, is very important because it allows you to de develop a skill, ability, academy, and personal knowledge, which prepare you to develop a very good role in teaching and guidance in a school. That in order to carry all a good develop of the class, it's necessary to organize correctly through a didactic planning since the indicated in detail the objective and the activities that we must carry out to the keep them okay gratefulness my sincere thank to all the teacher who in one way or another collaborate selflessly so that we could be here today exposing this portfolio that you for your guidance and advice thanks to Eastside University for the tool provided thanks to my mother for the emotional restraint for taking the trouble to prepare a delicious meal for um, not running out of food on those a day when I spent in front of a computer doing research. Okay, a special thanks. This very special thanks to Magister Ulina Mat, who gave you her unconditional support in the course of carrying out the action and research and the didactic material that she provides you at the right time to achieve a subtle professional practice thank you thank you very much this is all thank you christian for uh, sharing with us your experience it was it was really good we can teach from experience but we cannot teach experience sacha acevedo with this quote let us welcome Jovet Batista with her presentation. Okay. Good afternoon. We can teach from experience, but we cannot teach experience. Sasha Acevedo. Good afternoon, Dr. Xiomara Arrocha, Magister Jose Luis Arjona. Um, Magister Arturo Brito and Dr. Ulina Maps. My name is Jolet Batista and this is my English teaching support. 
This work was really difficult for me since I was working. I didn't know how to present it. Everything was in my head and I don't know how to transcribe it for this work. And it's a special real challenge for me to present it today. And I hope that you enjoy it. Some of my virtual, visual materials used with my students for warm up, I use this video that it says, if you're happy and you know it, that was very nice for them, and they love it, they dance it with me, they practice with me, and they love it a lot. One of my grammar, my favorite grammar that I teach for them was comparative and superlative. YouTube gives us a lot of practice and videos of how we can use resources for give our process more um, emotional for our students. We'll be covering comparative and superlative. Also, some of my PowerPoint presentations for my English classes was some of the topics, pets and animals, the family members with the family tree, the parts of the house, inside the house, and the food ceramic. In virtual technology, I use Google Meet for my classes, live workshop, for practice, and also I use enjoying my quiz to practice and play with them the topics. My strategy methodology that I apply, I feel that I use active and significant. Why? Because they use key, uh, vocabulary key, and they uh, participate actively, and they formulate questions and magnifold because they throughout the game they will remember and assimilate the learning. So this is how I gave my PSYOP weekly for all classes. My practice evidence that I use with my students was in life worship and this is how I present for them. Other evidence that they work in the notebook, they present me, they draw for me the favorite healthy food they do. They practice um, grammar, like making sentence, comparative and superlative sentence, and they draw the family tree. My content discussed with my students was the topic of the environment, in which we talk about what you do to uh, prevent pollution, what these cities can do to promote better air quality, and if they concur about global warming. And this is how they present the topics to the classes. They talk a lot and they present it and they feel that they are a real interviewers. Evidence of what I apply with my students they present to the class, like I say, the family trees, the students present a lot book, and the topic of the environment. My project with them was the lab book. They choose the better uh, topic that they love, and they present it to the class at the end of the five weeks. They love it a lot because they never made one and they enjoyed doing it with me in the classes. My personal analysis in this life experience is that if this course was excellent and very fun, how my students were shining and expanding their knowledge and enjoying learning to classes and games implanted part of the learning. In my suggestions, uh, as a students and children, we were not familiar with the system at begin the beginning. It was very difficult, but later it becomes was simple. I suggest 
because of the spirit of the pandemic that visual education should be promoted more. To conclude, I am very happy to the opportunity that was given for me to carry out this work and for the experience that was, that was given. Thanks to the Lord for the strength that gave me to finish this part of my career, to all the professors that helped us in all during of our careers, and also the most important persons that I have to give thanks is to my family for understanding me and help me in this part of my career. Excellent. Congratulations, Jolette. I know you're very emotional. It's just okay. That's what teachers go through when we really give without expecting anything in return. We don't have to be recognized, but the payment we got is a recognition with your students on the street, just calling us teacher. Yes. Thank you. You can stop Thank sharing screen. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, done. I'm not finished. I want to say thank you and God bless you. Amen. Educating the mind without educating the heart is not education at all, Aristotle. With us, our next speaker for this afternoon, Anayansi Delgado. Let's receive her. It's okay, it's a live presentation, so go back and, okay, now, yeah. Here. Full screen and just go for it, kill that. Sorry. I'm so sorry, just one moment. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Anayansi Delgado, and this afternoon I have the pleasure to share my experience within the virtual uh, classes of um, English reinforcement. Okay, education is the most powerful weapon you can use to teach to change the world. 
throughout the adversities of COVID-19, uh, I remained positive with faith. And even though I had the virus, um, I always remained positive. I taught students from Centro Educativo Betel de Chilibre. I had nine students from third grade between eight and nine years old. So um, within our classes, I used different um, educational resources with uh, my students. So such as the Zoom application, which is uh, the main platform I used for uh, our classes. Also I uh, use WhatsApp to send information whenever I had a, uh, a student that was not able to join in the class. Um, I also had a memory game for uh, the gamification, YouTube for flashcards, videos, songs, which they really enjoyed. Methodological strategy used with my students. Um, the audiolingual method, to me, it is actually one of the best ones to teach. Why? Uh, teaching a second language, it is important to do drills, vocabulary, grammar, pronunciation, uh, to set up phrases. Also, the audiovisual response allows the student to communicate quicker and accurate. Uh, also, the TPR, uh, total physical response. I really like it as well. And this is the one, one of the one that I chose uh, to, teach the, to teach the language, I'm sorry. Uh, for the body movements, it will be easier for our students as body movements, the speech, coordinate, coordination, mimics, and also the comprehension it is established. I want to share uh, my monthly uh, SIOP plan. Um, here it is included what is actually presented in five weeks, one month. We have um, content objectives, language, and vocabulary. This is part of it. I also have a weekly SIOP plan. This is for the first week, and I also have one for the fifth week which is the same, content objectives, language objectives, vocabularies, questions to the students. So the contents that I discussed with my students, it was uh, family, family songs, vocabulary, grammar. Uh, I used PowerPoint videos and flashcards, which they really enjoyed. They love singing and dancing. Here I have more of my family flashcards. And parts of the house. I also had a hello song, which we sang every afternoon when we, before we began our classes. Uh, we read class objectives every week and we practice what we learn. Here is some more, um, information on vocabulary flashcards easy for the students to uh, to see and to read at the same time we have feeling and emotions parts of the body song this is a body uh, a part of the body song that they really enjoy whenever we had a chance of every day we had uh, to practice it so they loved it. We have more practice here. Filling the gaps, choosing an answer and scrambled. A little project we had to draw the body and to place the part of the body on the empty boxes. Oh, special day. On Children's Day, I made them a card and put their photo put the, the photo of each of my students. They really loved it. I, we also watched a movie. They were so happy, they were so excited that they, no one was missing. 
Okay, so I have um, projects, a little projects uh, from distance. During the pandemic situation, it is um, quite difficult. So the photo frame was made of color, cut color pencils. So I told them nobody's going to waste anything. We're not, um, we're not to be wasting at this point. So we're going to draw it. And that is what we did. We also had a Children's Day card, which they draw. I'm going to uh, play a video with some of the evidences that was actually applied with my students. presentation for my students. They introduce themselves. Your, what is your name? Um, that is next. My name is that is next. Very good. Excellent. Daniel, what is your name? My name is Dan Daniel. Excellent. Clark, what is your name? What is? What is your name? And you answer, my, my name, name is, is Clark Hidalgo. Okay, let's go ahead and do it one more time. What is your name? My name, name, name is, is, is Clark Hidalgo. Clark Hidalgo. Okay, uh, we're going with Jamil. What is your name? My name is Yamil de Rosario. Excellent. Y tenemos un amiguito nuevo. His name is Evan. Okay? Evan, what is your name? Evan, my, my name Nice. Is, is Evan. Your, what is your Okay, and uh, finally we had our last day. Uh, we had a party, a graduation, um, a virtual party. So we really enjoyed, we had balloons, we had food, we have fruits, whatever we wanted to have or to eat to celebrate. So each of the students received a certificate for their achievements. Okay, on my uh, personal experience, 
uh, what I can say. It was a wonderful experience. It was also a mixture of feelings. As I mentioned on the third week, um, I had the virus. And even though God gave me the strength to complete my classes and to give my 100%. So I'm really happy for that. What I can suggest uh, to my colleagues to make sure that we have uh, the internet connection, camera, microphone, everything that we need. We practice it before to make sure that everything is working perfectly well. And also, I conclude with this. Um, within our virtual classes, it is very convenient during um, the COVID-19 to be safe at home. And also, whatever you do, do it with passion and give you 100%. Okay, and um, first of all, I thank God because he have me here today to complete this, um, to complete this type of, this time of my life. It is a chapter that it is uh, concluding. To Isai University coordinators, every professor with dedication taught me. To director from Centro Educativo Betel from Chilibre to my mother, to my husband, my niece, and for their unconditional support, and to my friends. So thank you very much for everything. And again, this is a super teacher. Now I ask you, what's your superpower? All right, so despite the fact that she got the virus, I mean, she gave all she had on behalf of those students. Congratulations for your hard work and support. If the poor boy cannot uh, come to education, education must go to him. Swami Vikanda, with this quote, let us receive Mr. Jose Luis Cruz. Uh, good afternoon. Can you hear me loud and clear? Yes, and you can start sharing the screen now. Okay, hold on, please. Okay, you can see? Yeah, put it in full screen, just go on top of, is it insert? And that, there you okay. go. Hello. Go for it. Okay. Okay, uh, good afternoon to all professors and authorities of this university and to my uh, different uh, partners or college or, okay. My brief, Biography. My name is Jose Cruz. Uh, right now, I'm I am currently a student of the Sai University in the uh, course of the teaching uh, teaching English uh, degree and um, degree in economics uh, in the University of Panama. Teaching a staff from middle uh, teaching in University of Panama. General introduction. Okay, in times of pandemic, uh, you know, uh, where the world and our country are experiencing a situation like this for the first time, which uh, brought a chaos in health and socioeconomic aspect um, with regard to education, seeing is what has been an atypical school year uh, because, uh, you know, the this year is not normal uh, because the school apps uh, was suspended recently uh, begin the the scholar year in march Mar march 9 
and suppose. Uh, I have culminated a, a beautiful and humanitarian experience as a teacher in practice, bringing knowledge in a second language through the virtual modality and has reinforcement classes of the English language to the group of nine-year-old children for grade from the evangel evangelical school better located in Chilibre. Virtual educational resource used with students. I okay. I developed my classes using use it. Uh, uh, for example, uh, for the virtual classes, uh, Google Meet. Uh, um, WhatsApp for send and communicate with the parents or the children. Um, a YouTube a platform for a sharing with my student and refer the classes with a educational videos and an example or exercise uh, in videos, in mode videos. Uh, on the other platform, for example, I use it a uh, mail, a uh, Gmail, um, Outlook for send uh, to the to their parents uh, information or or any any distance uh, work. Okay, okay, videos. Uh, uh, you uh, you see. Uh, Two example video of my classes for explain uh, about a topic or 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 team uh, to the planning uh, planning uh, weekly planning. For example, this advert frequency. Other examples. This is about the family. I, I spoke uh, to the student, uh, this team in the first week about the family and the family tree. Uh, some videos of my virtual classes, for example, uh, let me show you. This is other example. Okay, let's continue. Okay, say, possessive adjective and pronoun. Adjective of object of possessive of pronoun and possessive. Okay, then acá el cuadro a la mano izquierda dice I, he or my. ¿Lo vieron? I, he or my. Okay, recuerden que I. Okay, okay. Um, okay, vamos a repasar. Okay, let's review. Okay, about the topic. I is personal pronoun. Okay, I. Okay, uh, some for, photos of my of of my content of the classes. For example, this is the uh, online exercise or practice online uh, worksheet on another. Uh, this is a video of the uh, some class about the possessive objective. 
this is the photo for my student uh, online. This is other other uh, distant projects. For example, uh, endangered animals. This is a, a distant project. Uh, this is the instruction I I gave to the, the parents uh, by WhatsApp for the children make a work crafting home for um, a follow a send me by whatsapp the picture or by email uh, powerpoints is uh, some powerpoint i use it in my classes for example uh, this is a topic for uh, i i uh, for my third third week for week i'm sorry for week In this class uh, or in this week, I explain I ex explain to my student uh, what is the importance of the correct uh, uh, correct uh, alimentation or or what what kind of food uh, they have uh, eat uh, for the for the health of the the body. This is the other example: the family uh, the family tree. I use it uh, for uh, an example to the F.A. Adams family. It's very funny, this presentation. Uh, this presentation, uh, I spoke about the pronouns. And the family. Possessive pronoun. My, his, for example. <clears throat> Methodolo method methodology me uh, methodological strategy that apply for example learning strategy use motivation practice in uh, practice in virtual classes repetition and vocabulary form uh, review of the topic they gave in this, in every class uh, learning methodologies used homeschooling in mode virtual the audiolingual teaching methods uh, and the audiovisual uh, audiolingual teaching methods and audiovisual teaching methods uh, content discussed with student this is an example to my monthly unit for planning uh, for grade, uh, second semester, five week, the time, uh, areas, listening, speaking, reading, and writing, general objective. Uh, this is example of my uh, mo uh, monthly unit on the first week. In the first week, I spoke about the family members. In grammar, I spoke about the verb to be, identify, some members of my family, mother, father, sister, aunt, and more. Grammar practice, sentence with where to be, who is she, for example. Uh, um, um, and I, I explained to the, to the student what is the important to respect his family and his parents, identify some member of in family I, I practice it with with them about the, the, the families of her, of her, her member of their family. This is example of my weekly unit. This is the first week <clears throat> about the family, uh, family, me uh, family member or family tree. So I'm sorry for the size, it's very, very small. This is the second week about the uh, uh, food, the food pyramid. I don't see. evidence of what was applied with the student. This is some uh, some picture about the online exercise or online practice. This is the qualification. 
10 <clears throat> to 10, 8 to 8. Uh, I practice with them uh, in online in different uh, sites, for example, uh, uh, worldsheetlive.com uh, and others. Uh, this is a distant project, for example. This is a world craft about the food pyramid. In the in the right right side, you can see the other world craft in home. For example, a sport in me in my community. This is the five five uh, weekly unit. Personal analysis. Uh, sorry. Personas, a personal analysis of life experience. Uh, this experience, life in the teaching practice, has been very gratifying for me and motivating because uh, of what I live, what I taught, and above uh, all, what have learning, re learning with the children. Okay, regarding for work, uh, knowing I could even contribute uh, with my effort, the dedication, my knowledge, even though I did not have the experience uh, or the teaching method methodology. And I don't, I don't speak English uh, to the 100%, Mr. Horna, Mr. Beaton know uh, this uh, uh, part of, of my, uh, of my level on it, or in English, uh, I am motivating experience because it, it has motivated me to follow the path of education since it, it motivated teaching other people who need to learn help who have limitation and feel that they will not be able to learn something because they do not know. A suggestion for me, <clears throat> promote self Steen and Septau Learning provide a wide variety of learning resources to develop communicative uh, competence in students to allow them to teach English according to official web, uh, guidelines and without complexes. Increase the number of subjects in the language, especially until achieving the level of specialization demanded by students and such as the power of Meduca. Uh, and I also recommended, I also recommended ten uh, to practice to my student to my student on different platforms for or apps. For example, Duolingo, which is free, friendly, and very complete. Conclusion: Improve improvement uh, is achieved when students put aside fear. Uh, for, uh, when responding or participating to the, their poor command of the English language, I was able to observe the children improve their pronunciation, the handling of new words in this, in their vocabulary. I got them to practice actively to fail God self ten when expressing themselves or asking questions. They are motivated to learn the language to understand that I fundamental for their present and academic or professional future since English is the commercial language uh, that will open door for them. <clears throat> Thank you very much, especially uh, for, first uh, to God, um, for my family, for support me, uh, in my, in my career, is, um, thanks to the Isai University for <clears throat> uh, bringing to me uh, knowledge and uh, the, the opportunity for uh, uh, prepare me. Uh, and Mr. Arjona, thank you for all the advice and support me in, in different uh, situations. Um, thank you for for all to my knowledge, uh, my, par my partner, my partner, my, my classmate, uh, um, in, in, in situation where, when I, I need uh, help, my partner, uh, uh, they support me in, 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 
in in other occasions. Uh, thank you for all. Uh, uh, God bless you. God bless you for all. Thank you. There are definitely so many reasons to be grateful. And once I observed Jose's classes, I saw on his eyes fire that he really wanted to help those kids. So congratulations for that. We are not just teachers. We are the managers of the world's greatest resource, children. With this uh, quote, we invite Candice Diaz to present her experience. We are all yours. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Candice Diaz, and I'm here to present my final presentation about English Reinforcement Virtual Class. Learning another language is not only learning different words for the same thing, but learning another way to think about things. Flora Lewis. As our country and the whole world is going through COVID-19, and we have all been in social insulation for more than five months, schools had to close their doors and teachers began to use different strategies to continue training our students. So I appreciate the opportunity to accept this challenge and to provide support to all the students who really need it. In this presentation, I'm going to say some details about my professional practice. I teach 11 students from two different schools. Five were from Betel School from Chilibre and six were from Jose Sosa. Jose Sosa. Now I'm going to talk about um, my virtual didactic resource that I use with my students. There were videos, books, PowerPoints, and online games. I'm going to talk about the platform that I used. I used Zoom because it has many op options I really like. One of them was sharing screen. When I share the screen, I can see my students and this was a good, it, it was very good for me. And the other one was the pencil that Zoom has that lets you use it to do different activities. Okay, the online books that I use were all from getepic.com. This website is free for, for teachers and provides you a lot of different books from different topics. Here are some of the books that I use in my classes. I made some PowerPoints with vocabulary of different, of different topics that I teach. Here is one from parts of the body and the videos. All the videos that I used were downloaded from YouTube. Every single day I put a lot of videos so they can sing with me and learn vocabulary. These are five of the videos that I used. I used online games too for each topic to make the class more dynamic and also worksheets. The methods that I use in my class were three. Total physical response or TPR because we learn um, different vocabulary using uh, doing mimics and dancing. M direct method because uh, I only spoke English in my class. I try only to speak English in my class and I use a lot of splash cards so they understand what I was trying to say and audiovisual method because I put a lot of videos. Okay, this is my weekly planning and is based on Meduca's first grade. So here you can see the, the content objective, the language objectives, the warm ups, and each of the activities that I made with my students. This is the second week. And here, I'm going to show you the monthly plan. In the monthly, in the monthly plan, you can see the, also the content objective, the language objective, the keywords, the materials that I use with my students, and the activities of the five weeks. 
Okay, the contents discussed with my students. One of them was greetings, days of the week, weather. Okay, we learn, uh, the students learned about a school topic. In, when we were talking about the school, they told me where were their school located, what activities they did at home, at school, sorry, and we learned vocabulary. In my body theme, they learned to identify different parts of the body and we played different games so they can, they can learn the parts of the body and the vocabulary. These are some of the activities we did at school, at the class. And I can say that this one, animals topic, was their favorite topic. They enjoyed it because they can show us, they showed us their pets and they talked a little bit about their pets. Also, we learned, they learned, the student learned about uh, at farm animals, wild animals and domestic animals. The numbers, the student learned numbers from one to 10. So they wrote it and they did a lot of pictures or drawings so to demonstrate what number was it. Family theme, in the family theme, students learn the vocabulary of uh, family members and also they did a lot of activities like a family tree and uh, they did an activity, the last activity they did was a, a school with different materials like, um, like sticks or popsicle sticks and then they drew with who did they live. Colors, the first week the student learned the primary colors and in the second week the student learned the secondary colors and we played a lot of Simon Says they had to go to they had to go to their house and see what uh, materials they had with the color that I mentioned. These are some evidence from the the class. We made, up, we made a project. This project was in the third week. It was about parts of the body. I'm going to show you one of the videos of one of my students. They, uh, they made a video showing and defining the different parts of the body with dolls or pictures that they had at home. Morning teacher, my name is Anaïs Abreu. I'm going to show on the body part. Head, I, nose, mouth, ear, finger, neck. Thank you. When we finished the course, um, we did a little graduation, and these are the certificates that I made for my students. I can say in my personal experience, it was excellent because in the first week, uh, students didn't want to speak English. They said it was very hard. So I wanted to demonstrate them, or my main goal was to show them that we can learn English playing and having a good time. So by the third week, most of my students were saying words and phrases. So I was very satisfied that at the end of my course, most of my students learned vocabulary and understood simple comments, commands. When I finished my course, um, they still kept texting me and saying that they wanted more classes. My suggestions is to have a good place, place in your house uh, with a good light. You have to have a good internet connection. 
Avoid all distractions you have at home. You have to innovate because teachers have to be every day trying to see what's new in technology. Also, we have to have a good interaction with our students and make your class very dynamic. In conclusion, I can say that virtual classrooms, um, we can find the virtual classroom, the same factors that we can find in traditional um, classroom, except that the students and the teachers are separated. So we can say that this new uh, virtual model education allows a lot of our sectors of the population to be able to educate and teachers must implement different platforms and programs to integrate new technology so that the process is more pleasant and motivating for our students. I want to thank God for letting me be here today. Also, Isai Universidad, all my professors and coordinators for all their knowledge. Thanks for my family. Thanks to my family, especially for my niece, Charisse, because she helped me in everything I needed. Thank you. Congratulations, Candice, for such an outstanding experience. I mean, um, you know, this is what ISAI offers, a great education for teachers who really want to learn and improve. And I'm very proud of that. You remind me so much of me when I started my first class. I mean, age has nothing to do with maturity or experience. If you really want to do something, you can do it. If you really want to, you only put your effort on it. Very good, thank you so much for that. Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. Benjamin Franklin. With this outstanding quote, let us receive Nicole Caballero with her presentation. Hello, good evening. Therefore, whether you are eating or drinking, anything else, do all things for God's glory. First Corinthians 10, 31. Good evening. Hello, everyone. My name is Diane Caballero, and today I'm going to talk about an um, experience during the practice. First, I'm going to speak a little bit about the kids. I was working with um, kindergarten. They are between five and six years old. They study at Manuel F. Sarte. This is a private school. And I have six kids, uh, four girls and two boys. Our schedule was, the, for the first week, it was uh, from Monday to Friday for two hours. But uh, from the second week uh, to the last day, we start from Monday to Thursday for 80 minutes. Some of the virtual didactic resources that I use I use Google Meet as a main platform. I also use YouTube Kids to play games according to the topic and some videos and this, uh, songs. I use WhatsApp to communicate with the parents and PowerPoint to present some flashcards and some activities we like uh, choose the correct item and some match. The methodology and strategies I use a lot because like we you know, we all learn in different ways. So I try to apply difference. I use um, flashcard, we play games like Simon Says, Moves and Freeze. And we also use repetition, we write words, cut and paste picture, um, the content. We learn uh, with the allure of content. The first one was family, family members. We start with family members. And then for the second week, I took them the part of the house, um, some objects, for example, we learn a microwave uh, in the kitchen, um, some things like this. Uh, for the third week, we have school supplies. And for the fourth week, we see people in my school. We learn some people and the place where they work. And we, we, and we commonly use expression, so they learn uh, some expression and also they learn uh, use this correctly in the correct situation. We also uh, learn some part of the body and some commands like stand up, sit down, because we use this like a game to relax for a minute uh, in the class, during the class. Some of my evidence 
And I have, you can see, this was our first project. It was a family tree. They did like a little speech about their family members. We also, you can see a match about um, the part of the house and also uh, choose the correct item from school supplies. And a chat from, it was from the last day that we see uh, with the group of parents. Now I'm going to talk about my experience. It was an outstanding experience. I really enjoyed it. Uh, for the beginning, I was a little scared thinking, how can I keep these kids uh, sitting for two hours, learning, but also having fun? And I made my research. I lot of fun information. And finally, we can work together. It was so good. I had three experience and that made me realize that I really love teaching and remember me when I chose this career. I want to share one, uh, two with you. Um, the first one was in the second week. Uh, one of the boys, we are going to start the class and he said to his mom, mommy, please don't be noisy. I want to learn. And I was so happy because it means that I'm, I'm doing something good if he want to be there with me. And another one was on kids day. Uh, I said that they can wear a costume. So I can't believe I was teaching to Cinderella, Wonder Woman, Flash. They were so happy and we have too much fun this day. And we also learn, we use the time to eat, to learn. I start saying like, I have my kiwi, this is green. And they start to teach they have red apple. So uh, this experience was, uh, with words, I can't express how much I really enjoy this. Um, I want to say thank you. I'm so grateful with all the professor in church and make this possible. And I also made some certificates. Um, um, I, for, I love the videos, but they were so happy. They start to scream and jump. They can't believe that they have a certificate for each one. Now, um, some of my suggestions. Uh, let the kids be kids. Let they learn in their own way. And we have to be patient, especially when we are working with preschooler or kindergarten, because sometimes we have to repeat the, the same thing more than two times um, and be the best guy for them. And I can conclude that uh, teaching can bring us the greatest of joy, especially when we work hard and I teach her by vocational. So thanks for all. Oh my God. I mean, Nicole is the youngest person in this group. And I feel so emotional for her great presentation, especially because I met her long ago. She was introduced in the after school program. And then because she loved the language, she started taking the career at Isai University, where everything she has explained today, I'm quite sure she got it from the university. And that's. Um, a great experience and congratulations for that, especially because this program is very inclusive from all of the departments, from pre-kinder all the way to high school. I mean, my respect for you for teaching those little kids, I'll never dare to do so, but you did it. Congratulations for that. Now, the habit of persistence is the habit of victory. Herbert Kaufman, with this quote, let us receive Mr. Marvin Gonzalez with his presentation. Yesterday is not over to recover, but tomorrow is all to win or lose. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Marvin Gonzalez. Uh, I am today uh, to present my English Rainfall Info. One moment. Introduction. I did my professional practice with a group of six students from Yosemite School located in Kokumen. This work were a period of five weeks and I had 
seek a feeling from the pure good. Didacti resort used with a student. For the presentation, I used the Zoom platform where I could share the class in PowerPoint and different video that help me to interact with the student and develop my class. I use the cell phone to be in constant communication with the student class. One, 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 one moment. One moment. One moment. One moment. I don't know how long, but you're also muted. I'll mute your microphone so you will be able to speak. You hear me? Yes, go ahead. You're still muted. Unmute your microphone. Okay. Every week, the PowerPoint to present the class. Uh, the image that I present her the first week old then was family member. Uh, also, use the board on the platform to explain the, the vocabulary. The student also interacted interact with writing in some activities on the platform board. Methodolo methods strategy that apply. Uh, the methodology I used to teach was audio lingual. My, my strategy were uh, interpretation of graphic, the student observing the image interpret it meaning in English. Technology integration. The student use their computer and cell phone to perform online activity and games. Use of audio clip music. Use different fun videos to teach each topic to the student in class the body part 
you we use the video Simon Sai, the student had fun while learning. In class, I sent them the link and they played the memory game, the quizzes, was a other integration to virtual technology. Contain, contain the discuss with the student. I did the content that we teach to the student basis of the Meduca third grade curriculum. Uh, the content discuss with the student uh, the topic uh, week fair, uh, what topic a uh, family member, uh, part of the in the house uh, feeling and emotion uh, if for and for with uh, was topic uh, my uh, part part mass part of the of the body uh, five week uh, last week uh, was a ready for a uh, the topic uh, part of of my body uh, the constant for the week was saying it advanced uh, each friday the by email allowing a student to bring and relate to the topics evidence of what applied to a student. The student the their activity, drawing, word search, and more. Let's see, uh, let's see the video. Now let's see the video. My family tree. My grandmother, Christina. My grandfather, Brother Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my family is three. My name is Miguel. My mother is Mireya. My grandmother is Vega. My grandfather is Paulino. My father is Miguel. My grandmother is Mercedes. My grandfather is Miguel. My sibling, Erika Anaís Alexander. My brother is Andrés. I love my family. Thank you. Next, a, a personal analysis of the experience in the class. It was a very nice experience teaching the children. I was like little nervous, the fear dies, but little by little, I was able to deliver each lesson with confidence. The student assimilated the class well. The last day, a student told me, you are my fair virtual teacher. It was a good experience for me. Next. So, 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 yet, so yet young. It suggests uh, that the teacher be proactive, uh, creative, and wide high professional ethics. Uh, suggestion also projects for a student should be based of the educational needs of the of the stu student. Conclusion: professional practice is a fundamental element for teacher training because in allowing me to articulate a theoretical and practical knowledge this had an impact on planning and education in the teaching learning process the use of technology 
Zoom platform, YouTube, email, email, and more, allow the participant to be motivated in the assigning content and activities, providing an genuine experience like in the classroom. Thank you. Thank you, God, for the opportunity to my family for the support, uh, also to the prof professor of the site. Uh, thank you, Mr. Arjona. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, God blessing. All. Thank you, Mr. Marvin, for sharing with us uh, this uh, experience. When I look at my students, I see unlimited uh, possibilities, anonymous. With this quote, let us receive Annie Iglesias with her outstanding presentation. Good afternoon, professors, um, doctors, and magister from Isa Universidad. My name is Aniki Iglesias, and today I'm going to share brief, briefly my experience in this virtual professional practice. I had students from fifth grade. I had like four girls and two boys, and they were from Escuela um, School in Veranillo. And I received the help of one of my classmates, Yolet Batista. She helped me to um, meet and have in contact with these um, students. I prepared four topics for them. The first one was health, nutrition, and food. And my idea there was to identify food that belongs in each group, especially uh, paying attention to the food pyramid. The second one was ecology, plants, and animals. And the objective was to analyze definitions of environment in its classifications. The third one, was uh, means of transportation. There I focused my attention in vocabulary. And the last one was literature, where I was able to share um, readings and practicing pronunciation in the English language. This is the first topic of my week planning, which was health and nutrition. And here I have some of the examples of the words that I cover with my students in class. The objective here was to list food and ways to maintain a good health. The students will, will be able to inform and learn information about nutrition and how to maintain their body's feet. We use uh, as resources, laptops, photocopies. They are not books and they use like videos, internet and also cell phones. Here I have an example of one of my PowerPoint presentations where I try to focus my attention in the food pyramid. And here, as I was explaining to them the content, I try to use uh, everyday things that we have in our houses, like real food, cereal, and some fruits to illustrate the topic in a very easy way uh, for them to understand. Here you can see an example of the class. Um, how did I develop it? How were the students paying attention and participating? I used the um, classroom platform and Google Meet to um, deliver my classes. Here you have here um, some examples of activities that we developed in class, or some of them were homework. Some students were able to print it as you can see here, they re, uh, answer them and send them through me by email uh, by taking pictures. And some of them just uh, drew or copy the information from the screen. This is topic number two from week two uh, about ecology, plants and animals. The idea was there to list the habitat of various animals. And the language objective was to get information about animals' habitats and fill out some practices. Here you can see some of the vocabulary. And that was one of the main idea in my uh, course to um, help my students to practice more vocabulary because I personally believe that vocabulary is the most important part when you are um, learning a new language, in this case, English. 
Here you can see one of my PowerPoints about that topic. As I said, I focus my attention in the animal's habitat. Here you have the vocabulary and the students paying attention to uh, various of activities. One of those was uh, a paragraph uh, where they can learn more about the animal's habitats. And here are some examples of some of the activities that we had in class, like the vocabulary that you um, saw before. Some of them copy the list and translate it into Spanish, and some of them illustrate it in order to try to memorize and learn more um, the words. This is week number three, where we studied transportation and the objective where it was to list means of transportation and their importance. And the language objective for me was the uh, get information about transportation and fill out practices because I believe that through practices, the students uh, improve in each one of the subjects that they are receiving in class. And here you can see some of the words that we practice and study during each one of the classes through that week. Here an example of one of the PowerPoints. I uh, really pay attention in the pronunciation of the words, trying to guide them how to pronounce it, uh, looking at pictures and watching videos that because of the time I'm not um, presenting here, but we had a lot of uh, practices and videos that we uh, enjoy trying to improve in the language. And also I try to help them through readings to, um, you know, remember each one of the words they, are, they were um, studying. And here are some examples of activities that we had according to that topic. Uh, ones that they were easy to understand. Some of them, I used to send them the information through email. And so some of them tried to print it. Some others just because they didn't, didn't not have the, um, you know, a printer or a machine to have photocopies. They just copy and develop it at home. This was week number four, the last one. We study literature where there we can improve in vocabulary, learn more practicing reading and doing various uh, activities to try to move ahead in the language. Here you can see some of the examples of the PowerPoints that I use in class with my students with different readings according to the, the day or the topic that we were um, working on. I also had several um, projects um, that was uh, one of the suggestions of the Professor Arjona, so I follow it. This one was about literature. That week, the students, the students work, uh, learn about uh, rain and the thunderstorms and a lot of topics related to things that what happen in the environment and in the sky. So they create a various uh, ways to um, perform their knowledge from the classes. I have two more um, projects according to the topics that we develop in class. This one was about means of transportation and this one about animals. I sent this through email so they were able to choose the one that they prefer and they, as you will see, send me those activities. Here you have some examples. Here you see they use uh, recycled materials to make it I told them that they were not supposed to go out because of this pandemic. So they use whatever they wanted to have it in house, in their houses to develop their activities. As you can see here, newspaper, all pieces of magazine and things that they already know and they, they have in their houses. So this is it. I, I can tell you that this was a very, good experience. I am very thankful with the university, with my classmates and my professors. I believe that Isai Universidad is a good university. They were worried about us and they provide a solution in, through this pandemic and I'm very grateful. Thank you very much. I can see Annika a lot of uh, meaningful activities. That's what real students must be exposed to, to real situations. And this is what exactly what you did, and I think Isaf is very proud of having you as student. And those Thank students you, were lucky, those students were lucky to have you as well. 
Thank you. All right. So I think uh, uh, my friend Joelis is kind of desperate. So let me go ahead with her since she projected the screen. The function of education is to teach one to think intensively and not to think critically. Intelligence plus character, that is the goal of education. With us, Mrs. Joelis Rodriguez. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I have the pleasure of supporting my beautiful experience of my professional practice with the title Learning from Home to Innovative Tools in Time of Pandemic. My name is Joelis Rodriguez. I will uh, be sharing uh, every detail, every evidence, and experience uh, of time to my my teaching practice to virtual class to second grade student uh, from Domingo Faustino Sarmiento School. Learning new things allows to grow as human beings and make us more prepared to adapt uh, to the environment. Knowledge make us wise people. Francis Bacon. The weekly and monthly plannings. Uh, here we can see my weekly and, and monthly plannings through SIO plannings to organize uh, the topic and activity of, of week. The virtual teachings and resources we use with students. The tool used uh, during this virtual refreshment class in English and as the main didactic material for learning from home was Zoom. I also use WhatsApp application to communicate it, uh, with parents and students, uh, share activity and something, share um, activity and something, make a video uh, calls when a student could not connect to their class. Uh, another of the didactic material used in the class, it was PowerPoint, a support material for my 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 class. Uh, the Zoom platform offers us the possibility of using annotation pencil, uh, which allowed me to use uh, it as didactic material to perform online uh, tests, such as match or Choose the best answer. Here we can observe several tests developed online uh, by the student using these questions. The another virtual didactic material used was the lowership.com uh, page. It is a digital tool uh, where uh, it allows to perform interactive exercise online. With, with audio, video, join activity, uh, with a rose, track, even pronunciation test. The joinmyquiz.com is an application that allows us to create online game of the topic uh, you want. The YouTube video and educational tool in the virtual class. In my class, I used to the to I use video for to learn a vocabulary, warm up, um, pronunciation, uh, as well as some video for, for learning uh, each topic. British Council Learn, Council learn English Kids. It is on the tool uh, where we can find history, reading, game, writing, and audio for the student learn online. I also use a didactic material uh, prepared by me uh, for a more interactive and dynamic class. I play writing game with a magic book and question and answer activity with flashcard. flashcard. 
the methodological strategy applied. Total physical response, TPR, it is teaching method through physical activity. I apply this methodology uh, doing different activity. So, so as the game, Simon says, uh, also dynamic uh, the sun uh, touching your uh, the body part. The audio lingual method, uh, teaching methods, repetitive exercise, uh, pronunciation, vocabulary, and phrases to audio material and visuals. We perform the repetitive exercise through sounds, rep uh, repetitive exercise through, through sounds and, and picture and speech. This method allows the student to have a greater and faster understanding and interpretation uh, of ideas. The content is good with the students. The first week, greeting and purpose, emotions, my classroom and colors. The second week, my family, weather and seventh week. The third week, body parts, numbers and month of the year. The fourth week, the animals and the alphabet. And fifth week, review about topic learned in class. Okay, here I will show you a video about the evidence of the learning result of time by the student. Okay, my project uh, was explaining. Please, the student, the, the, the alphabet the learning was continued every day. My goal was for the student to learn the alphabet and at the same time learn to spell their first and last name. And Experience. My experience in virtual practice has been a um, challenge and satisfaction for me, despite the adversity uh, that come along the way. At first, it was stressful, uh, but gradually it becomes satisfied. Satisfied. I why I was uh, lucky to have the participation uh, of ten students, uh, some of one eight um, were always activity. It was a beautiful experience um, where I was able to acquire my knowledge and skill that will be a fundamental element in, in achieving our training as professionals. Thank you to Isa Universidad, to Magister Ulina Mapp, Magister Britton, Arturo Britton, for this opportunity to throw us. Thank you. Um, Mr. Jose Luis Arjona for the support provides also and my family in this uh, new experience that will, will demand more of me. Have more confidence, expand my knowledge, gain experiences and new way of teaching through innovative tools, achieving significant learning. Excellent job, Joely. Thank you so much. Your recommendations now. Okay.
recommendation is familiarize ourselves with the platform that that are going to use for our class and avoid difficulties. Uh, also, we must be innovative looking for new for and technological tools. In conclusions, um, I consider that these experiences have been rewarding and enriching because it established a link of growth and professional development to the acquisitions of experience and innovative ideas that allow us to develop a skill, uh, academic and personal knowledge for our training. Thank you so much. Excellent. Uh, this quote has been very famous uh, this afternoon. So the function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically, intelligence plus character, that is the goal of education, Martin Luther King. With this quote, our speaker, Melker Riz, is ready for us. The stage is all yours, Melker. Melka, you're muted. So mute your microphone and just go ahead. Oh, mute your microphone. It's muted. Sorry, you hear me? Go ahead. Okay, sorry for that. Okay, today my name is Melker Ruiz and I'm going to share with you my experience as a, as a teacher, virtual teacher. Uh, at the beginning was difficult because I, I was confused and negative, but I accept the challenge and this is the reason why I put this picture here. First of all, I have the general aspect. The duration, 20 days, from June to 20 to July 23, a student area of residence. Most of them live there in San Miguelito North, uh, like Samaria, uh, San Vicente, San Isidro, Participant, seven students, age nine years old, level fourth grade, connection time. My schedule was uh, during the month, Monday to Thursday from 4 p.m. to 5.20 p.m. Total, 80 minutes a day. Digital resource that I use. At the beginning, I contact the parents using Gmail, and after I met with them a WhatsApp group to share information and details about the practice. Um, but the principal platform that I used was Zoom and the classes was through the Zoom. And I used to Google and YouTube to get information, some videos, flashcards, and some example of sentence. And finally, uh, I have an, uh, uh, an example of an apps 
to learn English. That is called Aprendo Inglés Jugando or I Learn English Playing. That is from a Play Store and where they can find a vocabulary and some games to learn English better. Methods and strategy that I use. Audiovisual with videos, PowerPoint presentation, and flashcard. Communicative methods with oral presentation, asking and answer, answer questions, and like a feedback. Gamification, as I said uh, uh, at the beginning of the classes, I start with a dynamic or using some apps or website to play with them. Evidence. As I said too, uh, I made a WhatsApp group to the parents, with the parents, sorry, and they sent me pictures uh, of the worksheet that we did. And in this point, I want to talk about specifically uh, about my project that was, that was called uh, an emergency backpack. They teach you in a little videos and uh, that I said that, that they sent me uh, with some advice uh, how to be ready and prepare correctly the emergency bag in case of natural disasters was a funny activity. And they uh, share with, with us the activity. The content, uh, based on a Meduca program for fourth grade, I choose some content that, like natural disasters, food pyramid, advert of frequency, a means of transportation and social media or means of communication. My experience, uh, as, as I said, was not easy because at the same time I was working and full time and my job is far from my home. So, and then I, sometimes I was running to be on time, um, sometimes hungry or tired or stressful, but what's my responsibility? And when we are teachers, uh, we need to be ready for adapt to the situations. Suggestion. I think that during the training as a teacher at the university, we must implement a space to be very prepared, prepared to give virtual classes. Why I think that? I think that because the children are ready for the future. They uh, know how to use technologies, but what about us as a teachers? Are we ready? And then we need to be ready and improve every day. In my conclusion, I want to thank God for the life, to my family, my husband, my classmates, especially Annick, uh, my teachers, especially the teacher Arjona and teacher Britton, who, who have accompanied me during these two years and have helped me to complete this stage of my, of my life. And in conclusion, I can say that it was a good experience that uh, prepared us for the future experience as a professional or for new, or for new experience. Thank you so much and take care. Thank you, Malka, for um, your experience. You got well prepared and congratulations for that. So we still have time for more and I know you guys are eager for that. Last but not least, the one I have always called a maestra. So I would like to introduce her by reading uh, the quote that she has chosen. And it is, it is the teacher that makes the difference, not the classroom. Quoting from Michael Morpro, let me welcome and receive Elizabeth Navarro for her presentation. Good 
Good afternoon to everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to me to be here. My name is Elizabeth Navarro, and now I have to uh, present my experience on the virtual teaching practice of reinforcement. To thanks to Isa Universidad for this for this opportunity. So education has changed with all the situation we are currently facing. We have all made great change, school teacher, but above all students who are or engine to improve every day. And based on this change, it is up to us to face this challenge working with technology. So it was not easy to look for adequate methodology. So uh, we need to find the tools and the appropriate resource for the student. I work with, with six students for, from four grade from different public school uh, on the east side. Um, for my for my classes virtual learning i use the google meet because it don't have limit time and i i i like this one because that and i support my classes with a youtube video that they can repeat they can learn they can uh, practice their english my class uh, my class was on powerpoint uh, they can see the vocabulary that we are going to work during the class and on for our evaluation i use this uh, website live worksheets here we have some example for uh, our powerpoint and this is was my my important uh, important help because the sio plan was very useful for us because we can have all, everything in order we can see the, the activity, we can have the links there for, the, for deliver the class. Um, here I have a, a short video about how they work during the uh, online test. They work together and then answer one by one. So they participate one by one, and at the end, we can see the evaluation for all of them. And we work with, with YouTube video too, to reinforce the vocabulary. They can see the English word, and they can repeat, the, the, they can see the picture, and so they can learn uh, the vocabulary. So we have a lot of time to practice with them. And uh, for this, at the time of plan planning, I focus on this method, By basically, what I wanted to achieve was that children could express themselves in a simple way. So for has that, that, that uh, objective, we use pictures, we use videos, we use songs, vocabulary, and dialogue that they can see and they can repeat. I just can, um, we can see here, here is a, a short phrase, I like chicken, rice, and yogurt, and they can see the picture so they can express about things that they know. Content discussed with students. So we use the Meduca curriculum to have the contents. So uh, on week number one, we, we learn about neighborhood, community places, profession, and family members. On week number two, the, uh, we'll, we learn about simple present, pronouns, and verb to be. And this is for they can express on daily routines and days of the week. On week number three, we work part of the body and they can uh, uh, make question how many and they can answer with has or have on week number four we will uh, work about food and we learn our fruits and vegetables food and drinks and on week number five we make a review for all the topics that we learn here we have some uh, example of the dialogue they were on class and they need to present on class when I grow up, I want to be, and then they draw the, what they want to be when they grow up. Here, they draw a body, and they write a vocabulary, then they describe the body. They draw a monster, and then they can answer questions about how many. 
And the vocabulary, they write the English word and the picture, they don't translate because they can relate the word with the picture. So all the vocabulary, they do in the same way. We have a special project during this class on the week number three, week number three and number four, we work on the project. What is, was a lab book, the lab book title was all about me. They put the construction paper together and then they fill with the, the information about family, friends, hobby, uh, favorite food or whatever. And the, at the end, the, every kid present their lab book. So for me, this was a, it was a challenge, these virtual classes, but it was a regarding experience. I had something positive thing of this course. Um, I really enjoy work with six students because we have the opportunity to, to practice with them a lot of, because we work 80 minutes a day. So we have a lot of time to practice with them. And because they, they are, they were six students, we can attend them individually. The negative is uh, because at their home, the students are, are at their home. So they have many distractions at their home. They, they can see their sibling playing, they can hear the, the TV or hear the radio. So there, they have a lot of distraction. But um, it was very uh, regarding spirits. I can suggest even when we come back to the classroom, we need to continue using the virtual tools. So we need to continue preparing. We need, uh, there are a lot of platform apps and website we can use online and offline to use virtual tools. Uh, we need to include games in our classes. When the kids play, they can learn. So we, we need to include the uh, games. Even when we are working with sixth grade students, we need to include games. And we need to motivate our students. Uh, during our classes, we, uh, I try to motivate them. And we have a children's, on the children's day, we have a party, virtual party. They, see, they watch a movie in English, they sing karaoke. Um, they share their food and they share the, the special thing they have at their home. So this motivates the, the student. And at the end of the, the classes, I, um, every kid receives a diploma for their participation. So the parents and the student were really appreciate that. So, um, okay, sorry. Okay, I can say, that it was a, a very regarding experience. Hold the process from planning, when I, we sit here from the computer and planning the, the, all the resources that we are going to use with the student and working with the student is a regarding experience. So I think it is an important tool for all our, our colleagues to go to, the, to face the real world. Even when we, go, we work on uh, virtual classes, it was an amazing experience. So I want to thank God for this, for giving the strength to finish this time uh, for my, my partner on the classmate that they, we work together, we stay together, and uh, we try to do all together. And the teacher, all the teacher of Isai University that give all the, all the knowledge that we use on this virtual class. To my teacher, uh, Jose Luis Arjona for an excellent guide during this time and everybody for your attention during this time. So thanks a lot for, for your attention. First of all, I would like to conclude with some words and I will pass it on to uh, Mr. Arturo Britton. I mean, I mean, this closure today has been one of the best we have ever experienced at Isai University, especially because learning a language is a skill that we all need to develop. And we have seen that this develop, this skill, sorry, has been developed. Outstanding presentation since we started up to the end. I have really enjoyed this experience. You guys did a great job because I am not good. It's because you guys are great. Professor uh, Rene Atenza would like you to take this message to the Board of Directors from Isa University. And please tell them that the students have done such a great job and this should continue. Professor Arturo Britton, Celis Osses, and Ulima Map have led and conducted such a great uh, project and it has paid off. We can see great results are proven 
students learning, providing a lot of our information, evidence everywhere, and especially in this time of the outbreak of coronavirus, despite of the challenge we have tackled, our dear students from this technician gave it all. They had a space at home to have 14 different branches from Isai, and they opened their homes for those little ones who really needed classes when they were left behind. As a kind reminder, I would like to say, the time that you started, Meduka had not opened the classes yet. They opened their classes once they have finished, like a week after, or just the same week. Without expecting anything in return, our students gave their best and they were willing to do. Being humble is something teachable. And I can see that today, we have all learned from your experiences. It doesn't matter how old you are, you put a lot of effort and your heart on it. And I can see that. I'm so satisfied and happy for the job you guys have made that your names are going to be just there for history. And I know every time we speak about virtual classes and online classes, Isaiah University is going to excel. I have never seen any other university with such great coordinators planning this activity. Let me tell you, I work in most of the famous private schools and you know this university has done something meaningful for the society. And when we speak about a school, we involve families, students, teachers, universities together. And that's what education is all about. Why? Because our future from today on depends on our students. The greatest resource of a country is our generation. And they are the ones who are going to be leading us for the future. So I wanna thank Jehovah God for this outstanding experience. And thank you so much for your participation. I feel very proud. So I will pass it on on Mr. Britton. You are kind of muted, Professor. We cannot hear you. Sorry, can you hear me now? There you go, yeah. Okay, good. Now, when Mr. Alhoni, you have said everything, you have said everything, you're leaving without any words whatsoever. And all I could wrap up saying is that uh, during these four days, marathonical uh, presentation, very excellent presentation of students who excelled they did 100 and more percent of their time and effort to conclude with this project and to present it as it is today. And Professor Sellis, you could be very proud of your students because they did a very good job. And your, the professors that you have chosen to supervise those students did a very well, a good job also. Um, in case of um, the technician English department, I had um, Professor Duarte, which also provided us with a student, a very professional, eloquent, and, and um, enticing, by all means, presentation of the student project in times of COVID. And of course, Mr. Arjona, we take our hat and we give us a, a standing ovation for you and your students for this presentation. We know that we're, they were a bit, um, I would say, stage fright. They were a little bit reluctant some of them wanted to drop the bucket, as we say, but at the end, they did a very good job. You can do it. And I repeat, you have chosen one of the best profession ever, becoming a teacher. So with that saying, um, I would pass the ball to Professor René Atencio, 
who I know has written his speech in English, and he is going to have the closing words for our students. Thank you very much. Professor Rene, unmute your mic. Unmute your mic, Professor. Su micrófono está en silencio, profe. Mi nivel de inglés no es como para que le lanzar un discurso como los que se están diciendo ahora, pero eh, quiero felicitarlos realmente. Eh, hemos pasado cuatro días muy enriquecedores. Eh, profesor Arjona, eh, realmente que los estudiantes se nota, se ve, que los estudiantes han sido muy bien orientados, han sido bien, muy bien preparados. Eh, son todos profesionales realmente. Creo que esta semana el estudiante, los estudiantes de la Facultad de Inglés y de la Facultad de Educación han mostrado su casta, han mostrado ganas y esto demuestra un mes más que cuando se tienen las ganas, cuando hay vocación se hacen las cosas bien, se hacen las cosas muy bonitas. Eh, yo espero que ustedes esto guarden estas experiencias para más adelante. Yo sé que para muchos, algunos, será la primera vez que se enfrentan a, a estudiantes y en entornos virtuales, que es todavía la experiencia es todavía mayor. Sigan adelante, realmente. Eh, ah, una cosa que sí quería, quería hacerles la observación. Yo no sé mucho inglés, pero yo sí tengo el oído un poquito afinadito en cuanto a las, en cuanto a las pronunciaciones en cuanto a, 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 al estilo de hablar. Y es decirles que hay una pronunciación muy bonita, muy bonita en, en cuanto a, a dicción, sobre todo en dicción. Tú sabes que el, el norteamericano es una de las fallas que tiene que no abre la boca para hablar. Y, y, y ni entre ellos mismos se entienden bien. Y por supuesto a uno, para uno que no sabe muy bien el idioma, es un rompedero de cabeza. Pero ustedes a los ángeles lo están haciendo muy bien. Bien, el, hasta los niños se nota porque los niños replican el mismo ejemplo, los niños se ve, se, se, se siente que este, están pronunciando, que intentan hablar como les está hablando el profesor y eso es muy bonito. Sigan adelante, jóvenes, ustedes han demostrado que en esa universidad hay estudiantes de valía, y estudiantes, vuelvo y repito, de casta, hay todo un mundo, ayer les decía a los estudiantes que hay, hay todo un horizonte por conquistar, conquístelos, tienen toda la vida por delante a la que ustedes se, se, se capaciten más. Recuerden que hay más cosas que estudiar. El estudio, el conocimiento, la adquisición del conocimiento se muere cuando nosotros nos vamos de este mundo. Así que aprovechemos la vida para estudiar y, por supuesto, para enseñar. Eh, mis felicitaciones, eh, profesor Britton, profesor Arjona, eh, profesor Ulina, la profesora Celis. Sigamos adelante. Gracias. Profesor eh, René, eh, René, una de las cosas que nosotros en ISAE, eh, con todos los profesores que han estado eh, presentando y los estudiantes, hemos siempre tratado de que los estudiantes entiendan y sepan, o por lo menos, escuchen las dos versiones de inglés. Si usted observa, o, eh, el profesor Arjona tiene una eh, marcación británica Exacto. completamente. Sí, eh, ya lo si noté. Usted me escucha, si usted me escucha, yo tengo una marcación también en esa área. Yo no hablo como norteamericano. Mi entonación es bastante fuerte y clara. Por eso que a veces cuando hablo en español la gente no me entiende. Por eso la, de, la, <risa> la marcación que tengo del idioma, ¿verdad? Igual que la profesora Ulina, nosotros, Así nuestro, es. Primer, nuestro primer idioma es inglés. Por ende, tenemos esa diferenciación en las pronunciaciones. Eh, eso es lo que quería recalcar. Bueno, profesora Celis, usted no se va a escapar. Por lo menos para dar este gran cierre, no le vamos a pedir que hable nada en, en inglés, pero por lo menos eh, dar este gran cierre a esta maratónica presentación de sus estudiantes y de los nuestros. Y hay que eh, 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 
recalcar algo, profesor René. Eh, estos dos profesores que en, han presentado este proyecto con estudiantes, primero fue la profesora Duarte, que pasó por la mano de educación por, la par, eh, por parte de la profesora Celis, y tenemos eh, al profesor Arjona, que dos veces pasó primero por mis manos como eh, profesor de él. Él es egresado de la licenciatura de inglés, en inglés con énfasis en traducción y luego pasó a educación. Así que tenemos buenas cosechas en Isaac. Profesor así, es, así es. Y reiterándole las buenas tardes y agradeciéndole a cada uno de ustedes, a cada uno de los estudiantes que han hecho esta presentación en el día de hoy maravillosamente. Es como dice el profesor René, no comprendemos un 100% el inglés, pero si uno queda atento a escucharlo, ver esas presentaciones de ustedes, sé que hicieron y me consta el trabajo que hicieron. Esas presentaciones, eh, como lo dijo el profesor Arjona al principio, muchos nos eh, se enfrentaron por primera vez a lo que es un campo educativo. Y lo han hecho como verdaderos, verdaderos profesionales. Y en esa eh, arista nos quitamos el sombrero y le hacemos la venia. ¿Por qué? Porque en momentos tan difíciles, tener a un tutor virtual y hacer ustedes este trabajo es muy loable. La Facultad de Educación, porque ustedes pertenecen a la Facultad de Educación y quien se ha llenado de gala son las carreras tanto de educación primaria, media diversificada y eh, los técnicos de inglés. Yo me siento muy orgullosa porque ayer teníamos al profesor Arjona como estudiante de la media diversificada. Y miren hoy qué lindo ese gesto de tenerlo como docente, tutor de un técnico. Y que él haya salido de las filas de Isai Universidad, eso dista mucho de la preparación que se da en ISAE, porque ustedes han hecho una excelente presentación. Los demás estudiantes, los demás grupos han hecho excelente preparación, pero no es el momento de la práctica, es ese engranaje que se tuvo mes a mes, año a año, para ustedes lograr eso. Los hay profesionales, los profesores que tuvieron, que lo fueron moldeando a ustedes hasta llegar a este momento. Felicidades de verdad, de todo corazón. Me siento muy orgullosa de la facultad, me siento muy orgullosa de este trabajo que se ha hecho. Y, y como eh, nos ha dicho la profesora Ulina, esto no termina aquí porque esto continúa, porque estamos haciendo, ustedes fueron lo, los... Los que abrieron este compás, pero de igualmente lo estamos haciendo ya, se fueron encaminando los de las sedes eh, que tenemos a nivel nacional, todos los estudiantes que están en ese proceso, en, eh, como están ustedes, ellos ya están encaminándose para hacer una práctica, pero ustedes abrieron el compás, ustedes han presentado ese, ese proyecto porque están dentro de un proyecto, no solamente es la práctica de ustedes, ustedes están dentro de un proyecto, perdón, están dentro de, de un proyecto educativo universitario que después entonces verán sus nombres con letras doradas dentro de ese proyecto investigativo que ya, ya comenzó eh, a tomar forma y que en un momento dado pues se va a presentar a la luz. Felicidades, felicidades a los profesores porque los profesores jugaron un papel muy pero muy importante dentro de este desarrollo Profesor Arjona, para mí, mis respetos, mis más altas consideraciones, ya que el profesor eh, Arjona tuvo un papel 
enorme, podríamos decirlo así, enorme dentro de todo este proceso, dentro de todo este proyecto, puesto que la parte que le tocó a él como profesor de media diversificada fue un papel muy grande. Estar frente también a sus estudiantes del colegio donde está y frente a ustedes, llevándolos a ustedes a esta culminación, Miren mis respetos hacia él y a todos los demás profesores, a la profesora Diana Madrid, a la profesora Marilín Calderón, a la profesora Anne Duarte, que hicieron un trabajo extraordinario. Al equipo de trabajo, porque esto fue un equipo eh, establecido por la señora rectora, la profesora Ulina Mapp, a la profesora Reinalda Pimentel de Arrocha, al profesor René Atencio, al profesor Arturo Britton. Y bueno, quien les habla somos los componentes de este proyecto para que hoy en día nosotros pudiéramos decir alcanzamos una gran victoria dentro de muchas luchas que vamos a tener dentro de la universidad. Entonces ya para las palabras... Eh, eh, sí, ah. profesora Cel, eh, eh, también el equipo desea agradecer, eh, eh, agradecer infinitamente todo el esfuerzo y el apoyo que se ha recibido de parte del Departamento de Mercadeo, de la Universidad Keika, eh, del, del Departamento de Relaciones Públicas con la Universidad Milen, por ese apoyo que nos han dado en la transmisión de este... Eh, evento, eh, que han sido cuatro días, cerca de un poco más de tres horas cada día, y ha quedado entonces en el canal de YouTube de la universidad, gracias al apoyo de ellos, eh, de ellas, ha quedado eh, estos, estas grabaciones que van a ser, definitivamente va a ser ejemplo para aquellos que vengan atrás de nosotros y que quieran entonces eh, emular estos, estos, estas experiencias eh, tan bonitas que han tenido ustedes. Eh, eso era, eso eh, quería recalcar esa parte. ¿sí? Eh, profesor Britton, entonces damos final. No se le escucha, profesor Britton. Sí, quería. ¿Me escuchan? ¿Me escuchan? Ahora sí. sí. Ahora sí. Okay. Sí, antes de pasar la, eh, el micrófono a la profesora Ulina, que está ansiosa también de dar sus palabras, quería también eh, señalar lo que el profesor eh, René eh, indicó del mercadeo, especialmente a la licenciada Milen, que nos gustaría que por lo menos encendiera la cámara para que la gente la viera, por su gran apoyo durante toda esta sesión que hemos tenido en estos cuatro días. Eh, licenciada Milén, de todos nosotros que hemos participado en este proyecto, las más infinitas gracias por su apoyo, dedicación y paciencia con nosotros. Muchas gracias. Ulina, por favor. A mí no me resta decir nada, ya después de todo lo que ustedes han dicho, más que felicitar a ese grupo este grupo del día de hoy, poco con sentidos míos, ¿verdad? Pero porque le di varias materias y siempre me, me buscan para asesorarles que lo han hecho muy bien, excelente y que sigan así en el camino de esa vocación de ser docente. Ya no me resta más que decir. Bueno, entonces, señores, eh, un aplauso para ustedes y pueden celebrar. Levantemos el va en, en, la, en la copa en señal de una victoria. Muchas gracias.